today on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group, there's a challenge for the Northern Lights pour at the moment. So I thought I had better give it a go. My paint jars are leaving a, a shadow there where the light's shining down. So anyway, Northern Lights. Now I had a little bit of this mix left over pouring medium from my flip cup pours, 60% glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. So a tiny little bit left, so that'll be the end of it. So I'll use that for my, my swipe. I'm gonna do a swipe today. Uh, so Northern Lights, this pale minty green, bright green, bright blue, bright purple, and then there's a like an indigo. I mixed these two together, purple and blue, to get that one. So they're all global. That one's called Bora Bora. It's like a minty green. This one is called Green Light. And Cool Blue. This one is just purple. And then my Navy Deep Space. As I said, I mixed the Deep Space and the purple together to get this sort of indigo color. And then I'm gonna swipe with black. And I'm using my sheet of plastic as my swipe tool. So, in my cups I have two to one, so two parts pouring medium, one part paint. So I've got 40 grams of pouring medium, 20 grams of paint, so 60 grams in each cup. And I'm going to put, oh, what will I put? Let's just put two drops, hey? One, two, it's a lot of colours, so we'll just do two. And I won't put any in the black because that's my swipe colour. There we go. And that's just the treadmill silicone, 100% silicone oil. Give that a bit of a stir around. Whoops, splashing. I did make up a little bit extra of this lovely bright green. Because these three colours are quite dark. The black is obviously dark. And then I just wanted to make sure that I had a pop enough green in the pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my colours. I'm going to leave a little gap at the top for the black and I think I'm going to layer them twice. So I'm going to leave another little area for the black at the bottom. So let's see how we go. Start with some of that and then down there as well. Um, just have to get this fly hovering around my paw from this morning. Gotcha. And then we have the green. And the blue. Should have started these up a little bit higher actually, these ones. Only because the last swipe colour pretty much gets pushed off. You don't even see it. And purple. And then we'll finish off with this navy. Well, it's almost, it's a, it's very dark purple. I won't put very much of it because it's quite a dark colour. As I said, this, this one will pretty much be pushed off the end of my card here. The bottom colour always tends to do that. Mm, I do want lots of this green, so let's make sure I've got lots of that. There we go. Okay, now what I need to do is just... I'll, I want to leave those gaps there, so I'm just going to tilt this way. You have to be really careful not to leave too much paint on your surface when you're doing a swipe. I know it looks like a lot of wasted paint, but you, you can't leave too much on there, otherwise you're going to lose all your cell shapes if you do. Leave a little gap there for the black. And I might as well just fill this up so it's not bare. Yeah, if you leave too much paint on your surface, uh, you'll come back, you know, half an hour or an hour later and your cells will have just grown 
hugely um, and you probably lose most of your cell shape so just be careful don't pour it on and then just swipe tilt a lot of it off you can see it's just practice um, you'll get to know how much paint you can leave on the surface and as I said it's just practice knowing how much you can leave on there all right so now that we've done that and left a little space for our black we can pour the black on don't pour the black on and then start tilting because you'll start tilting and it'll all be all over the place so I prefer to do it this way leave a, a little space for my black and I don't want it too thick so again just tilt some of it off when it slows down it's not running so fast then you know you've got a good amount left on there but it's just it's really it's just comes down to practice you'll have to practice and, and see how much you can leave on there okay so that's that done now we'll take our little sheet of plastic you can use damp paper towel if you prefer I like the weight of this plastic sheet it's just a um, you can use a, a file divider I get it from the office supply store this was a document holder that I've just cut open and we'll touch it into the black there you don't try not to touch other colors touch it into there make sure that you've got a good contact it's squashing down and then slowly oops it got stuck there a little bit slowly pull towards you didn't have much black at the top there you can see all right so that's that done and then you can just wipe your your plastic off with a, a damp cloth um, now I do want to fix up my top bit there if I can it kind of got stuck I don't tend to put it right on the very top but I did today for some reason let's put that there I'd actually swipe over that edge again hang on to my corners just see if I can tilt some of that off before I start torching just where that black had caught a little bit okay that'll do like so and I would like to just see if I can touch up this edge just grabbed a little paint chip card put a bit more black there and just touch that edge and pull it through it's just just tied it in a little bit there eh? I know I'm fiddling Fiddle, fiddle. I don't know. No, I won't. Will I? Or won't I? No, I think if I touch that, I'll bring up the pale um, green from underneath. All right, now let's get to torching and see what we can bring up. and wait same as I do with the flip cups just wait don't get carried away give the paint a chance to bring the cells up from the bottom I've got a couple of misshapen cells there from when I tilted my surface can't be helped this on the side here is bothering me a little bit I might put a bit of black there and swipe 
down on that edge too. The edges always get missed and it's not really a problem but if you can just go over them again you might as well like that. No harm in trying. Let's just torch the side there and see if there's anything in there that wants to come out and play. Don't want a lot more cells. I'm kind of like when I do my flip cut paws, I do like a little bit of negative space, a bit of background, and I'm the same when I do uh, swipes. I do prefer a little bit of background, not just a mass of cells. So I do try not to over torch, if at all possible. Okay. Does that kind of look like Northern Lights? <laughs> uh, have a look at my Facebook page, the Australian Acrylic Pouring page, and um, there's a photo there of the colours for the Northern Lights. And if you want to have a go, please do. And uh, show me your photo. It's, it's not a competition, there's no winners and losers. It's just something to challenge ourselves. Is all it is. Oh, I'm getting some pale green up there. Let's do up here as well. All right, I think that will do. The pale green looks almost white there, doesn't it? It does. All right. Somebody stop me. Let's get you in for a close-up. So, yeah, you can't see a lot of that pale green. It's kind of taken over by the other colours. But it's definitely in there, just a little bit. Right, let's get you in for a close-up. And I'll take a photo of it. Put it up on the group as my... Well, it's not an entry, but I'll pop it up there for everyone to, to see. I can't do a challenge and not put in a post, can I? I can't expect people to try things if I'm not willing to. Oops, move you over just a tad. There. That's about as close as I can get you. Oops, that's a bit bright. That's back to normal. Okay, so there you go, Northern Lights swipe. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Have a go. As I said, don't go crazy with the um, the torching. Uh, let the cells come up and do their thing, and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.